I might be fat, but I'm pretty. And it scares you hoes. Well, maybe that's why the party bus turned her away. She's fat, and those hoes are scared. <laughs> This video is sponsored by me. If you're interested in my super fun, meme sharing, pretty nerdy, but also cool weight loss support group that comes with a variety of workout programs, click the link below. We would love to have you. Hello and welcome to my lazy series of videos on my channel. This will be simple editing for me for my main channel that I do in between my heavily edited videos on topics I want to get to, but usually I can't because I'm editing other things. And it takes me a very long time. And I have small hands, and I do all of this myself. But I want to voice my opinion via voiceover. So if you really need to see my face, well, here it is, okay? Or you can go watch my other videos. So sit back, relax, do cardio while you listen, and let's chat. So this topic was sent to me quite a bit on Instagram. Apparently, according to BuzzFeed, an obese woman was denied entry on a party bus because she's obese. So I wanted to look more into it. The comments are freaking out. This is fat phobic. Fat people are human beings. Fat people deserve to party. From what I saw, no one said she can't party. She just can't party on this specific bus because they are not into her size. I'm guessing they want a certain type of woman on there, but I don't want to say my opinion way too early, so let's actually read the whole article and then I'll say my opinion near the end. After being turned away from a party bus because of her size, this woman is calling for acceptance from all companies. Bigger people are human. This does not make us any less or give others the right to deny service. Just a little note, I am a Californian and in California companies can deny you service just because because uh, I found that out when I was at LA Fitness and the weird manager kicked me out for absolutely no reason. Well, her reason was because she felt threatened, but she was allowed to deny me service. I just thought I would tell you, at least in California, they can deny you service uh, just because. But let's get back to the actual topic. This is Fallen Melillo, a 27-year-old body positive advocate from San Antonio, Texas, who was recently on a trip to Miami. Oh, Miami, that's the problem girl. It's Miami. The beauty standard hits different over there. Everything's bigger in Texas. Uh, in Miami, everything's bigger as in the butt and the boobs. The waists are small and the lips are big. I have plenty of friends from Miami. Honestly, body positivity ain't it over there. Surgeries are at an all-time high to make sure they stay snatched and Miami ready. So that was the first mistake. I personally don't fit in in Miami, okay? On a trip with a few close friends when she was turned away from boarding a party bus because of her size. In a video that has gathered the collective attention of nearly half a million viewers, Fallen explained that on July 31st, she and her friends decided to go to a pool party at Dare, a club hosted by the Hard Rock Hotel. And to elevate their fun, the group purchased tickets through Eventbrite to board the Spring Break Miami Party Service Bus for transportation. When buying their tickets, Fallen noticed the bus Eventbrite page said, sorry, no big girls for this party. Uh, yeah, second mistake. They had the rules right there. <laughs> uh, and then she, and she read the rules. They literally laid it out, gave her a rubric for the bodies that were acceptable to them, and girl just decided to go. She said, nope, <laughs> I'm going, and I'm just gonna see what happens. And obviously, it didn't play out in her favor. Who would have thought? The rules go on to say, the doorman is very strict on appearance. If you have had problems getting into exclusive clubs before, then this is not for you. Damn, oh, I have so much to say, but I'll keep my mouth shut, opinion-wise. I I have to read the article, unless, unless you want to, Yoshi. No, no? Okay, Butters, you? Oh, oh God! All right, um, since they're not going to do it, I guess I'll continue. Please don't waste your time, nor ours, thinking that we can get you inside if you do not meet the qualification. Just pause right now, two things. If you are a big girl and you read this, would you waltz your big ass into this party? Because if I was a big girl, I'm not going here. I don't even want to give you my money. And two, what about the big men? Can the fat ass 
ass men just roll on onto this party bus? Just wondering, or is it just the women that can't be fat? Okay, I would love answers. But according to Fallon, she told BuzzFeed that we reached out to Dare and they assured us that they do not discriminate against weight. We were hopeful things would be fine. So that's a he said, she said type of thing. If she could be lying, I have no idea. But let's just say that she did. Who did they talk to? You know, there were times that I would have to call to make sure of something at an event and I would get some underpaid, couldn't give a shit type employee. You know the type, they don't care. They'll just say, sure, yeah, whatever. So who knows, I can't take this as facts because there's absolutely no proof. But there is proof that there were rules that said no big girls, said that if you have trouble getting into exclusive clubs, then don't waste your time or their time, and that she full on said that she read the rules and knew exactly what the rules were, and still decided to go, so... But we were hopeful things would be fine, but things were not fine, in fact, Fallon said that upon arrival, a male staff member took one of her friends aside and informed her that they would not allow the 27 year old to board. Dang, <laughs> like I said, it's the rules. She knew exactly what she was getting into, but that is embarrassing. But real quick, again, pause. Uh, would you get on the bus without your friend? Shoot, if my chubby friend was there, I'd be like, girl, we're going to another club. I told you that this club was busted. Like you can't take a fat chick's money. Good Lord, we're going to the multiple other clubs where we can just live and be ourselves and dance no matter what size we are. But I personally don't care about clubs. I would probably rather actually just go home and sit on my couch. But what would you do? Would y'all be like, bye girl, <laughs> you knew the rules, lose weight. Being turned away in front of other people because of how I look and my size was absolutely humiliating. I mean, she literally threw herself into this situation. I was embarrassed and shocked to say the least. Uh, I mean, shocked? You had no idea this was gonna happen? Now the night before, I had ended up looking on Eventbrite and I saw this. If you decide to read, you can obviously tell that it says that there's no bigger women or plus size women allowed. It's like if I went to a store that says no shoes, no service, and make sure to wear clothes, and I walk in with a bikini and uh, no shoes, and then get shocked when they tell me to to leave. And then I complain about it, right? I would look pretty stupid. Even though I know I am beautiful on the inside and out, this moment made me feel helpless. This is what every plus size person fears, being turned away from an event because of how we look. Okay, so we're at the end and now I can unleash my full opinion. <laughs> Get ready to be offended by a pretty logical opinion. Let's go. Most of you already know my opinion, but let me lay it out so you don't guess and you can actually be offended by what I actually think. Girl, she knew the rules. She knew what they wanted the women to look like. They literally spelled it out for her and she still decided to waltz on in with the attitude that she was going to get in and everything would be fine. And then decided to be shocked when she got turned away. She made the mistake of most likely surrounding herself with people who have opinions like hers. The yes people. People that tell her she's perfect the way she is and all bodies are good bodies. Everybody is beautiful. Oh, you're obese? Oh, that's just the most beautiful thing and we accept it. So much so that she couldn't fathom that a place would one, write rules like this, and two, enforce it. She walked right into this, or maybe, just maybe, we just have to theorize just a second. She just wanted the attention. Most people who party in Miami know exactly how it is over there. Maybe she knew and plotted that this would bring traction and clout to her TikTok. It would give her the attention that she wanted, as it did. It is the most viewed video on her TikTok. She gets around four to 11,000 views with some occasional spike. So why not go over to a party where they specifically say, no big girl when she is clearly a very big girl. I don't feel sorry for her. I can't feel sorry for her. I would be lying if I said, oh my God, you poor baby. Oh my goodness, how could they do this to you? And she literally knew that was gonna happen. Hey, wait, I see you over there saying, well, what if they turned you away for being black, Michelle? You're a dumbass. Because if I saw that there was a party bus deep down in Podunk Town, population zero black people down south, and said $40 a ticket, we're gonna get real country. I, I don't know what 
they would say. But then it clearly said, uh, no black people. And I wash my black ass in there. I would be even more of a dumbass than the people saying. What if they turned you away cause you're black? What the fuck? First of all, I can't change the fact that I'm black. Technically, obese people can lose weight if they stay consistent enough. I can't consistently change my ethnicity. And to clear things up, I'm not saying it's right or not mean. It's definitely mean and rude. But some people are not all inclusive, honey. I know there are people who do not want my black behind around. And thank you so much for telling me because I personally wouldn't want to give my money to a place that hates me for what I look like. Thank you so much so I can take my business elsewhere. Even if I called and said, hey, I'm black, but I want to two-step with all y'all white people. Can I come? And they said, oh yeah, it's fine. Come over here. Uh, yeah, no. I would be a full-on idiot to use my own legs and to walk into something like that. Now, if it was a thing she paid for, they had no rules, no nothing, no dress code, and said, come, have fun, and party in Miami. And she arrived and said, ooh, oh god, no, girl, <laughs> you too fat. You're way too fat. <laughs> Get the hell out of here. We have a certain type of woman we want at this party, and you ain't it, because you're fat. Then, then I would have sympathy, but that's not the case. She knew the rules. I have no clue who she talked to that said it's okay, but I'm throwing that little point out because people lie. And she decided to take a chance and it didn't play out in her favor. And now her feelings are hurt. I personally don't go into situations where I full on know that it's going to murder me ruthlessly, mentally. There are plenty of party buses and clubs in Miami. She could have avoided that situation, still had a shit ton of fun. In in Miami. Now I obviously love to put myself in other people's shoes. I know that I'm just so adorable now, but shocker, I didn't grow up pretty. I looked like the female version of Urkel. Okay, people? I remember being the new girl and people didn't want to be my friend because I wore glasses, had buck teeth, and still played with Barbies and Beanie Babies until I was 13. And I totally don't play with them still. I'm a grown up, okay? And then puberty hit. I gained weight, nothing fit me well, and my mom refused to let me wear the cool clothes because my boobs would fall out. I wore my older brother's hand-me-downs and holy shit, I will never forgive my mom for that. I most definitely know what it feels like to be ignored, shunned, made fun of, looking like a full-on nerd. And then when puberty hit, gaining a lot of weight and not really fitting in, literally, into clothes, into the popular groups, nothing. So I know how it feels to not be one of the pretty people but once again if I walked up to this club in Miami and had the same Urkel feel I did when I was younger I would get turned down even at my weight I am right now final mistake she made was expecting everyone to be body positive and have a mind like hers when many people do not and certain people or certain parties will have certain rules if you do not like it then just don't go. But that is my opinion in this quick and lazy video. Now what is yours? Thank you so much for coming and spending time with me on this lazy video day. And make sure to watch all my other videos. That is your homework for this week. And I will see you guys in the next one. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh, I've been on the flex since flex on. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared.